Blah, 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 blah. Okay, microphone's on. So, I'm actually supposed to be done for today, but uh, nice folks over at Rare, uh, Rare Finance, I almost call it Rare Business, but Rare Finance actually uh, actually contacted me directly on Twitter. So, yeah, a nice little conversation. Long story short, I'm now in their Discord. Super nice people and really fun. So, I, I actually really like it. Plus, I mean, I'm surrounded by Pepe's and Pepegas. I mean, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> so, anyway, I was actually watching uh, the Discord chat. I was talking with everyone. Very nice welcome. So, thank you, everybody. From uh, I almost called you guys Pepega Industries, but Rare Finance. But, you know, when they come out with their Layer 2, because almost every Tomb Fork has to have a, a Layer 2. I definitely suggested Pepega Industries, but obviously they should put it up to a vote. You know, I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't be the center or anything, and I don't want to be the center of everything. I'm just happy to, you know, help and stuff. So plus, it's nice to actually make money for a change, right? Especially uh, given the circumstances from a few months ago. So anyway, I actually was uh, reading the chat, and they're actually pretty knowledgeable too. I especially like the, uh, I think her name is Ms. Dory. I want to make sure I get her name right. She's the office manager. Mi oh, Miss Ms. Nomi. Okay, so I definitely got her. Yeah, I confused her with the developer Dory. So I think that's a woman's name. So anyway, uh, so she actually mentioned something. How the Fed fudded Bitcoin. So that's actually, as you already know, for those of you who are who have watched me for a while, you know how how. How important it is to keep track of geopolitical events, the Federal Reserve, the evil central banks, and of course the SEC all attacking crypto. So we already know the deal. So, so I always like it when I actually see people actually really know what's really going on. So, so I got a burst of inspiration from God to actually do this video. I mean, yes, just for rare finance, but also for everyone else in general, because I can clearly tell that this is just blowing up like crazy because Andre Frange just went completely berserk, which doesn't surprise me at all. And just in case, because I'm going to start ranking for your term, Andre. So I know I've been a little harsh on Twitter, but that's just how I am. It's how us New Yorkers really are. You know, we're blunt, right? But on the other hand, you really do have a lot of problems. Like you should not be behaving the way that you're behaving. So I'm actually being nice to you because I know you're watching these videos. So, first thing I'm going to say is, no, it's not over for Phantom. Well, it'll get by like everything else. It's just another FUD event. Actually, everything's on, on sale. That's why I can't wait for gas fees to go down. And I'm going to buy up all the rare finance I can get, you know, and start LPing that on Yield Wolf. And number two, just for you, Andre, because I've been repeatedly saying this, you need to go uh, to this channel on YouTube so you can stop being all emotional so i asked the question are you better than a child molester I'm just <laughs> that's his <laughs> okay i have to start right there okay i didn't expect that but long story short this guy is a christian pastor a real one and he's the and basically all the fear and fud you feel is because you're angry at your mom and dad andre that's why you're emotional and you're fearful and, like, you care about what other people think. Like, you shouldn't care what I think, right? I mean, look at my crappy shit Twitter. I barely get any engagement, right? I have, like, three likes here. I have two here. And that's fine. I mean, I don't really care, right? You know, I just put stuff out there. Well, I'm also shadow banned on Twitter, I think. So, whatever. You know, it's just how it goes, but... Go forgive your mom and dad, do the silent prayer, and then you'll stop acting like all angry and emotional. Because I think you're a man, right? So, you know, being emotional, it actually makes you technically a woman, right? An emotionally unstable woman. And it's not good that, that like, all, at least all the women I meet tend to be very stable. So you're acting more unstable than them. So, you know, just go watch this guy. I'll try, I'm, I'm just being nice to you, even though I'm ranking for your keyword, because... Obviously, I do have an ulterior motive, you know, which is, uh, you know, I want to beef up my YouTube channel. But I can also point you in the right direction so that, like, you know, maybe your soul will be saved or something. And if you choose not to, then that's that's your business. You'll just suffer and continue to actually you're going to you're actually going to run into a lot of legal problems. So I'm giving you life changing, life saving advice for free. 
And I do mean that because if if what I just retweeted and read and where that's what the focus of this video is, you're actually in a lot of fucking legal trouble. So that's why I'm actually being nice to you because I think you're going to be, uh, you're about to get ass ran by a lot of legal authorities. So you, you might want, so, you know, just out of the interest of helping people out and people will never know who I am, well, except for all of you watching this video. Yeah, I'll help you guys out, save billions. So, yeah. All right. So anyway. Oh, wait, this is, yeah, everyone loves Pepe. I, I just love this project, so, yeah. All right, but yeah, oh, and before I move on to the actual meat, uh, yeah, I mean, the project looks really solid, so, yeah, it's above peg, but, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, we'll see how this plays out, because there's just too much crap going on, so I can't, I can't do any of my normal analyses until this FUD event is over, but I definitely know I'm definitely going to buy a lot more well, whatever I can scrounge up later tonight for my daily profit take, I'm definitely going to put it into into rare finance. Because I also want to buy some more partial because that's under a lot of pressure. And I definitely want more APAC. I mean, there's just so much I need to buy. And it's just like I don't have enough money. So, all right. Anyway, I'm seeing a lot of people seeing praises. All right. So from what I can tell, it seems like when Andre Rage quitted out of the system, right out of Phantom, he actually is like basically leaving all the projects there seems to be some confusion about is he terminating their relationship andre and his people or are they just completely shutting down all the projects i thought they were shutting down all the projects because that's literally what i saw in the tweet they said they're terminating everything on april 3rd okay all right i don't know how long is this thread because i don't really want to read the whole thing. okay that's not too bad all right, I see a lot of people praising Andre for his past work. That is true. He does seem to be a very smart coder. But he needs to equally be held accountable for his horrible exit. That's also true. That's also why I say you're going to be in a lot of legal trouble, potentially. This is the worst way to quit your job. People trusted him with their money, specifically billions with a B. That's why you're going to be in a lot of trouble. People trusted in him with their... Oh, wait, I read that. Not just regular whales, but... Not just whales, but regular folks. Because, again, I'm actually getting hungry. I didn't make food. I'm supposed to watch Gregory Manorino's videos. I could keep up with the markets this week. Yeah, I make food. I got to exercise. So I'm a little, I might be a little off right now. Plus, I'm also feeling a little bit rushed because I am in a rush. He could have let the Phantom Foundation to do the exit statement. Oh, that's grammatically wrong. He means let phantom do do you don't need the word two in there do the exit statement with more detailed plans for transition oh so that's why all the uh letter like you know how like people always quit and they always have these milliquos militoast whatever that word is plain statements that really don't tell you anything now i actually understand why they do that <laughs> to have, probably to avoid situations like this now he just decided to put an update in the ui and all his projects are to be shut down oh my god this was from 43 minutes ago. He is not fresh out of school and smart enough to know that his actions will nuke the entire ecosystem. Okay, yeah. Like I said, because Andre, because he's angry at his mom and dad, you become angry and hateful. So it shows up in all sorts of crazy ways. In Andre's case, he really did rage quit. Basically told everyone, go fuck yourselves. I don't care about you. And now he's hurting all, even more people. I called this out immediately, like the first time I even mentioned it. I didn't even mention that much. I just put, like, a tweet out, right, right, like I always do. And then all of a sudden, I actually get, like, a lot of likes and retweets. Like, wow, this apparently is, like, a big thing. I was like, oh, okay. And then, of course, you know, for those of you who are new, especially from Rare Finance, Andre actually kept getting banned off of Twitter. I don't know why his followers kept lying about it. He actually got banned. Andre said so as much and then probably lied about it, apparently, after changing his words. Doesn't surprise me. Then he kept creating, recreating Twitter alts, and then kept trolling my replies. So I just, I didn't mute, I just muted him. I didn't block him because if I blocked him, it would actually piss him off even more, and then he'd spam even more. But I did report him, so he probably got banned again. All right, because he's violating the Twitter rules of terms of service, so you shouldn't be, uh, you should not. You're, you're, it's actually against the terms of service to annoy people. Reply to them to annoy, for the purpose of annoying them, and they recreate accounts just to get around it. That's like that. That's actually against the terms of service, even if it's not mentioned. Like you, you will get banned, especially if you do that to a lot of people, and they all do mute and block you and report you. 
your ass is going to get banned. And technically as it should, because you're just being an annoying, stupid fucking asshole, right? He's not fresh out of school, da da da, did anyways, because he couldn't handle any more, right? Because he's got the spirit of anger and Satan in him. Part of running a financial entity is fiduciary responsibility, and Andre showed absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is actually why you're going to get sued. This is actually against the law, basically. That's why it's actually called fiduciary responsibility. So, yeah, that, that's why he could be in a lot of trouble. Not yet, obviously, because it just happened. But trust me, if the if what if, what, if this this seems true, and there's a lot of money, we're talking billions. Look, the SEC is on. Uh, I don't know the name. His Charles Payton? No, not Charles Payton. That's the guy from Fox News. The guy, the Sifu, the actual identity of Sifu, I don't remember his name, right? But they know who he is, and they're going after him, right? At Time Wonderland was only like, what? Well, only one billion out of the B, all right? They go at, like, they will find, the first, it's like kind of like when I did my Titano uh, play hack video. If you scam, and I didn't realize how funny it was when I rewatched myself, right? Because a lot of people were talking about it, right? But yeah, like, exactly like I said. If you scam or steal or hack 50 or 100 million dollars or more, they will fucking find you, okay? And they will put you down under, all right? One way or the other. I, I actually just added the down under part, but they will effing find you, okay? This guy was completely public, and billions of dollars are basically lost in one way or another. Uh, yeah, it doesn't take it, it doesn't take two it doesn't take much to put two and two together, figure out what's going to happen. Uh, and on top of that, they'll probably go after Andre's friends, right, who are also part of this rug pull scam. And then they're going to, the feds will, like, okay, we're going to put you in jail for like 50 years, but you can walk away if you testify against Andre. Like, okay, yep, he did it, he did it, he did it, right? Yeah, the scapegoating and saving them, saving their own next is going to go crazy, man. What are the implications of terminating active projects that people are using and having invested in? If it means you probably are shutting down, then Andre just publicly rugged several million billion. Oh yeah, Jesus, that is so much. And he didn't even have to. He didn't even have to rug. Uh, no, rug pull. He didn't. Andre didn't even have to leave. All he had to do was what I originally said, which was just fix the contract with a new version two, so that it wouldn't cause so much congestion, right? And then also. And then later I learned that he was, like, got some kind of connection. I didn't know he was on Phantom Foundation. I just knew he had some kind of connection to it. So I said, just just try to, like, figure out, like, get someone at the top of Phantom to, like, actually start scaling. That's all you got to do. Well, that and lower the validator fee. But, again, I think Phantom is actually run essentially by, again, like I mentioned before, super predators, right? Financial super predators. Believe it or not, that's actually a censored term on YouTube. So I can say it, but I can't type that out. That's actually why my Savannah Finance video got had a lot of problems with the checks. Because I guess I guess the YouTube algorithm thinks it's related to Pato Bear or Donald Trump or something. In, in the worst possible way. <laughs> so I got to get around that. But anyway, what are the implications? Wait, I just read that. Uh, Anton Nell, Andre and I have decided they're going to close everything. If it means Andre won't be developing, but projects will still function as per usual, then their messaging is absolutely terrible, causing unnecessary FUD and dumps. Projects don't need to die when the lead dev quits. Yeah, developers quit all the time. Well, not all the time, but it's, it's generally fairly common. I mean, it's a high-stress job, right? This is a mess, even worse than Daniel Esta's debacle. Who's this guy? Well, he's not banned on Twitter, so this guy's still around for whatever. Yeah, even Dow King follows him, and then a bunch of other people. Uh, as a side note, this is more validation for why we need true DeFi. DeFi projects led by cult figures and inflated egos have similar risks as some, uh, centralized projects. Yeah, that's exact. That is actually the main problem with Phantom. It's way too centralized because it because too many. Too many super predator whales pumping and dumping projects, especially Tomb Forks. And then two, the Phantom ecosystem as it's designed right now is designed, as I said before, to maximize gas fees, to minimize the amount of people that can become a validator, and then it, it, it's, it's just very toxic, right? And now I'm kind of seeing, you know, like the effects of it. Other people are definitely seeing the worst of these effects, right? At least I know it's like, oh, okay, well, I mean, another day at the office, right? 
the success of projects should be decoupled from the whims of the founders. The only reason we get to experience all the incredible things in crypto today is because Satoshi chose to launch anonymously. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I'm actually going to retweet that. Uh, they can retire the UI. Someone else can spin up another one. The wording is faulty and can easily. Okay, so again, now I'm a little confused. This is from three hours ago. So, so I don't know if the pri I mean, I'm not in solidity, and I never will because, again, I don't know what the ultimate title and description is YouTube's going to be. But what's the one thing I always? Well, there's always a thing I always check for, like multiple things. But one of the always common things is developer risk, right? The person themselves. If the people are horrible. Then it doesn't matter how smart they are, I never want to invest with them because I know they're eventually just going to go berserk, right? Andre Andre Kronje is a perfect example of that, right? You know, like the solution, like he's literally sitting on a gold mine and he literally not only threw away the gold mine, but he fired a bunch of nuclear missiles and destroyed it. And now it's completely gone. It's like, it's like this is insane. Right, the fix was really simple. Just change the contract so they wouldn't congest the stupid thing so much, and then eventually he would have to then go. Oh, okay, the Phantom Network's being a problem. I need to go to the Phantom Foundation, my buddies, because it turns out he's actually part of the fan. Well, was part of the Phantom Foundation. Was, hey guys, we actually might need to start scaling and lowering the validator costs. Right? We're, we're 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 choking the system. But uh, well, no, no. I mean, uh, instead of doing the right thing, well, well, now we now we get this problem, right? So, well, I can't believe this. Currently, in the process of sidelining majority of capital related to solid. Okay, I can't say that, and that's another problem too. Like, this is a horrible. Like, I cannot, under any circumstances, even even if I wanted to, I could not cover solidity because I cannot have this word in my YouTube content. Right? This is very adult themed very penalized and like it just doesn't get any searches right because it's suppressed on purpose because like i just it's like you know there's a reason why movies have ratings right some are made for kids others are like r and x rated for only adults only so it's like this is essentially triggering the adults only thing all right so this this is just absolutely dumb like i get they're trying to meme it but you know, and on top of that, it technically violates my Christian values, too. So, and I really don't, you know, I'm not the greatest Christian, obviously. But there, there are red lines that I don't like crossing. I feel like absolute crap over my calls related to Solidity Exchange. No, you were actually correct, uh, whoever this guy is, Average Joe Crypto. The problem is, you didn't factor in um, developer morale risk. I guess that's what I'll call it for now, right? person risk right what is the heart of the person right that, there's a reason why i talk about jesse Lee pearson literally all the time and stuff right because you can be the smartest person in the world but i mean if you're if satan has full control of you then then, then you you will always lose all right this is a then i i totally I totally knew that something like this could happen too like i didn't even think about it but i just know okay god can't be trusted all right and then i move on all right, so now a lot of people are about are getting screwed. Andre called out Daniel Esteta or Siesta, whatever his name is, negligent in the wake of the Sifu drama. Okay, so apparently this guy is actually Sifu or something very close to Sifu. Well, he's not banned on uh, Twitter yet either, so okay. In light of today, I think that critique couldn't be leveled right back at him. Correct. Whatever your opinion of Danny and Sifu, oh, so these are two very different people. At least they stuck around and tried to mitigate the damage, and Andre just walked away, yeah. And then they have the, whatever that icon. What's this emoji called? Is it man shrugging? That's a man? Oh, I thought it was a woman shrugging. Or at least I thought it was a woman icon. Yeah, and on top of that, Danny and Sifu might actually be a little bit relieved, because now the SEC or the feds or whichever agency wants the glory can we now go after andre instead of sifu you know so the sex success of project should be decoupled oh i already read this oh i just retweeted it that's why Duh. so yeah so anyway uh so 
pretty much this will be just fine. I wouldn't be surprised if crypto is already, if the especially Phantom Project and Tomb Forks are already recovering because even Tomb Forks on AVAX are taking a massive hit, except Gray Finance, I think, Snowy Owl for sure. Zilla Finance is different because he actually, David Zilla, just literally said, break up your LPs, we're going to remove some pools, and we're getting ready for Kong Finance. So that's why there's a little bit of price pressure there. Yeah, I don't care. It's like, okay, fine, I'll just LP it back. Because Kong Finance is coming out, so I know everything's going to go back up. In fact, I'm going to print even more money, right, when that comes out in a couple days. So that's going to be really nice. Let's see, Phantom. What's gas fees? All right, so gas fees are still kind of high. Yeah, so, all right, so I think maybe by tonight I should be able to have access to Phantom again. So, how many validators? All right, we still have 58 validators. All right. So, I don't know. It's not over, but like I said in Gray Finance video, I think, you know, if Phantom does not actually get their crap together and actually start scaling and start doing what they promised and not deliberately... Because I'm pretty, because I, because like I've been saying, I can easily tell that Phantom is not where it's where it wants to be or could be because it's deliberately being held back by its leadership. They're deliberately, you know, it's like it's it's just really screwed up. And I'm glad that a lot of Phantom p uh, developers are starting to realize that and now are moving on to Avax from the way things look. Perfect for me. But, uh, yeah, if nothing really changes for Phantom, it's not going to die, but it's just going to be relegated and remain a niche blockchain, all right? And it should be. I mean, and it should be lucky, to, all right? Because this kind of behavior is very detrimental and bad, all right? It just makes crypto look bad. Well, kind of, sort of. And it, it, it's just not a good way to think of in life, all right? It's just bad. It's like there's no need to think like that. In, in crypto, all... all all, a rising tide right, uh, floats all boats. That's why I'm not a maximalist, and I never will be, right? Because I guarantee you, if Bitcoin is $5,000, like you just decide to crash, you can bet every single one of these Pepega clown tokens here, right, including Phantom, AVAX, and whatever, all this actual stuff, and uh, other, and Ethereum, yeah, that shit's going down, too, with it, all right? And when Bitcoin pops off, yeah, everybody pops off with it, too. Everyone's tethered to each other. And now that Wall Street and probably central banks and, you know, big banks, they're all heavily involved in cryptocurrencies and actively manipulating it. That's why, the, that's why I recently said the four-year Bitcoin cycle is dead. So now we got to, now I got to switch strategies. So DeFi farming is actually the best strategy because, you know, like gold and silver, it's being suppressed, right? So it'll never go up to what it's supposed to be. Cryptocurrencies are massively un, uh, under undervalued, and that's on purpose, right? Because evil rich people in the world are constantly like buying uh, buying up everything, and then when it gets up, when it gets to, when it gets too high in price, like Bitcoin was and crypto was like last week, then you have stupid f word assholes like Gary Gensler come out. Yeah, this piece of shit. Yeah, this piece of shit. The SEC, they trot out whoever, the Fed, the SEC, the whatever. They trot out the SEC. They have this fucking asshole puppet, Gary Gensler, you know, talk shit about crypto, and then crypto immediately tanks. That's actually why it tanked last week. It's not, it wasn't supposed to do that. <sighs> so whatever. These assholes, these evil rich people, they play their game. We'll play ours, like Greg Marion always says over here. And, you know, we're just going to keep accumulating. I'm going to keep buying and DCAing and then taking out profit, right? You know, so whatever, you know, I'm ahead of the curve, right? So, and now all of you are ahead of the curve too, so. Let's see. Ooh, man, poor uh, Rare is getting hit pretty hard. We're down 9.15. Yeah, 15 shares. Actually, what was the shares at 15? I don't even remember. I'll have to check. What was the value of this? I'm just curious. Uh, 560, okay. Oh, man. I don't want to play my video. I just want to... I, is there a point where... I know I scroll down. There we go. 1157, 1553. Wow. Yeah, so Rare's still getting hit. So, uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess... Well, I don't care what the price is going to be. I'm still going to DCA into it, so... 
the lower the better for me. But it, it, it probably as long as long as everything else is still continuing to go to shit. I mean, yeah, it's probably yeah. Rare will probably be uh going down too. Okay, so Avax Tomb seem to have stabilized Phantom Tomb for it. I'm on my Chrome right now, looking at my deck screener. Uh, PDO, of course, doing well. Partial is still stable. PLD is down. Apex is down a lot. Yeah. So Phantom is still under a lot of pressure. So it actually is going to be good for me to buy tonight. So I can ride out the FUD. Yeah, even two shares and three shares is back down to negative slightly. And, of course, Poseidon's down. Yeah, I might have to say, I think people are actually losing a little bit of faith. Yeah, even Tomb and T-shares is down a lot. So, yeah, I think a lot of people are actually losing faith in Phantom. So... I don't know. Let's just hope people, uh, you know, scream at Phantom Foundation. I don't know what good that'll do, but it can't hurt, I guess. And then maybe the Phantom will actually start scaling because Osmosis, now that I'm in Osmosis, thanks to Joda Boomer, right, and Miniwaza, like, that that already is a subnet on steroids. So AVAX is actually catching up to Osmosis. So we have AVAX subnets. It's already live. It's just an alpha test, but it already works. Krabata game is already consuming a lot less gas fees. Perfect for all of us. And Krabata users, because they were paying a lot of money too to do gas fees. So I might actually try Krabata game, because, you know, I'm into video games. Osmosis and Cosmos, the whole ecosystem, right? Terra Luna, that, that's already, like, scaled. There's that new Layer 2, that Cointelegraph that I tweeted earlier. I think it's called MetasDAO or something like that. They're, they're doing their own Layer 2. And Plan B has retweeted Klaus Schwab. Oh. Name this Bond movie. I'm gonna, I have to retweet that. So. Yeah, alright, that's fine. But yeah, it's not over. It's a good time to buy the dip. But however, right now the FUD is literally in the middle of playing itself. Uh, how long have I been rambling? 27 minutes. Wow, it was supposed to be a 5 to 10 minute video. Oh well. Uh, by pulling that probably pushing people over toward Bitcoin. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, the central banks, the credit card companies, the big banks, they're all in on it together, right? They're, right now, they're just scapegoating Russia. But they're coming after crypto already by, and then censoring people. So, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. I'm going to be buying more. I'm definitely not leaving Phantom. I never will, right? Unless the Phantom Foundation literally comes out and says, hey, we're abandoning ship like Andre. Goodbye. I mean, what? I mean, that's possible. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't happen, but I think the chances of that happening is like kind of close to zero. Because then even Harry E would probably get pissed off, right? I mean, I don't know how much money he has invested in Phantom ecosystem, but I'm pretty sure he he he, he has. I mean, he's a multi-billionaire, right? So he's got to have like several hundred million dollars in Phantom at least, even a couple hundred million. It's it's gonna be it's gonna he's got to have enough to like go. Okay, can you clowns actually do something? Right, you're pissing me off. <laughs> right, I mean, I'm sure. Ha is Harry E part of F Foundation? Is he actually part of the foundation? Quantum fintech master's doctorate. Harry E explains how. This is hilarious. May third, two thousand twenty-one, and Harry E is explaining how Phantom will be fast and low gas fees. Oy vey. Uh, well, I like how... For some reason, I always pictured him with a beard and white hair. Uh, yeah, see, he even retweeted uh, Based. So, uh, I don't know what kind of relationship he has with Based Finance, which ultimately affects Rare Finance. But, you know, that's fine. They are now part of our multi-sig. So Harry E and even Tomb Finance are directly multi-sigging based. So, yeah, I, I mean, I essentially would call this a partnership, right? Because, you know, Harry E is super rich. He's kind of famous-ish, right? I guess. You know, he's probably not that active on Twitter, or maybe he is. But, yeah. All right. So it's looking good. And I don't see Harry E going crazy. Actually... Shit. There is a really good what what is the timestamp on this? March first. So he doesn't use it this much. Oh man, so this was actually two days ago. 
Oh, I'm actually curious. Phantom Foundation Twitter. Hopefully they didn't ban, they didn't block me. Okay, they didn't block. I mean, I never talk, I never talk shit to them directly, but I don't know. I don't know what Andre must have been telling people. Uh, I, okay, we're extremely grateful to Andre for all he did for crypto. However, Phantom isn't and never was a one man team. There are 40 people plus working in Phantom. Okay, great. Great. Let us know when scaling happens on FTM. These gas fees are really killing a lot of us. Uh, this is a little insensitive, but I don't really give a shit if they block me. Great, let us know when scaling happens on FTM. These gas fees are really killing a lot of us. Team Morgan, because I'm more really middleware. I've been going. He was a big Okay, therefore, the development won't be impacted by Andre's decision. Okay, so this guy, CEO, C Chief Information Officer of Phantom Foundation. Okay, he's an Asian guy. Uh, therefore, the development of Phantom won't be impacted by Andre. Big things are coming and scheduled. We're still on track to ship Snap Sync and a database upgrade in the short term and release middleware improvements such as Flat Sword and FV. Oh my god, these guys are so far behind. But the important thing is, like like I look at Tomb Forks, right? Developer morale. So they haven't given up yet. And this was five hours ago. Yeah, this is actually the perfect tweet. So they're doing exactly what they should be doing. Yeah, it's not over, man. Why are people dumping? People are so stupid. Well, no, it's not that they're, well, yeah, they are, they could be stupid, but so, again, it's like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, people are angry at their mom and dad, or whoever raised them, right? So, you have fear in your life, and that, that's exactly what this is. Here is the fantastic first week, 20 hours, blah, 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 all right. Phantasm Finance, are they, wow, 30 million locked, are, are they a tomb fork? Uh, oh man, I am definitely staying away from synthetics. They're very, very profitable, but very, they're basically derivatives. I don't want to touch derivatives. All right. I'm already happy enough doing uh, Tomb Forks. Yeah. All right. So anyway, I rambled on way more than I should have because this video shouldn't even exist, right? Because I'm supposed to only do two today, but yeah, things are looking good. Look, even rare shares are going back up. Yeah, this is, this is just perfect DCA. Perfect DCA. It's like... You know, it's basically a target-rich environment. You know, just, just just pick up whatever you want, right? If you believe in the project, of course, and you don't mind, you know, taking these big hits. So, okay, so that was five hours ago. I already confirmed it on the Phantom Foundation twatter itself. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. So, yeah, I can't wait. So I'm actually even more confident than before. This is this is fantastic. All right, I'm going to go. I got to eat. I got to watch Greg Mario. I got to go for my walk and exercise. And again, I'll see you all tomorrow. And then, yeah, it'll be Code 7 Finance and Scare Finance. Yeah, and then I, I think that'll be good. All right, thanks for watching. Spread the video, like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. And I'll have the links to Rare Finance and what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, my YouTube video that I just did on Rare Finance. We are actually looking to get into that. I actually really like their community. And, of course, I mean... Pega Industries. I want to make Pega Industries a real thing, all right? So, you know, I want to see it happen, right? All right, thanks.